This one has fractions. We all hate fractions. So what I mean by that is let's, let's get rid of those fractions first, okay? So that's a 2 over 1. If we can make it something over 9, an equivalent value over 9, then we can ignore those fractions altogether. So what I need to do to that, just, just that one number there, is to multiply the numerator and denominator by 9. Because that 1 times the 9 would give us the 9th that we want. So the new equation would be 2 ninths x plus 2 ninths y equals 18 over 9. 18 over 9 is still 2, so it is equivalent. But the nice thing about that is that since we have 9 as a denominator, we can just get rid of them and look at this as an equation without fractions. And we could compare that to 16x minus 2y equals 18. That's great because we can eliminate the y's right now if we want. So let's go ahead and use elimination to solve this one. We're going to add each column. So 16x plus 2x would be 18x. These eliminated, the y's, negative 2y plus 2y is 0. And that equals 18 plus 18 is 36. So to solve for x, we'll divide both sides by 18. And we get x is 2. Well, I'm going to use the top equation because it still doesn't have any fractions to solve for y. 16x minus 2y equals 18. But we'll replace the x with 2. So 36 minus 2y equals 18. Ah, uh, yes. I'm going too fast now. That's my, my fault. I apologize. We'll subtract 32 from both sides. And we got negative 2y equals negative 14. See, I stopped for a moment to really think about that. Divide both sides by negative 2, and we get y is 7. That's positive. So that's our answer right there, 2, 7. Of course, you still want to check that, especially using a calculator. That's not too that, that, that is not that bad on a test to just say 2 divided by 9 times, where's my x, 2, plus 2 divided by 9 times 7, does that equal 2? And the answer is yes, it does.